watcher of this show, if you're a regular, I sound like Casey right now. If you're a regular viewer of this show. But yeah, if you guys watch our videos a lot, you would know that I'm not a morning person. It's like 7.15 a.m. and too tired to actually even talk. I had to get to the bus stop and then get to the airport. I'm a little sick right now, so I'm loaded with Tylenol and like, this is why you bundle up in the winter. To be honest, I can't believe I'm already taking out my winter jacket. It's not even like 20 degrees yet, but it's like, it's making me sick for some reason. Mainly because I had one day where I just didn't wear anything and it was freezing cold out. Now I'm a big fan of winter, but it, I think it, could have waited just a little bit before it got cold. I, I didn't get much of fault yet. I just feel like a puffball right now, you know? I'm trying to be quiet mainly because I think Brian's still asleep. I don't hate winter. It just came a little bit too early this year. That's the worst, being sick and trying to travel. But we're heading out now. I drank all my tea, had a long hot shower, so 30 degree weather. 30 degree weather means nothing to me right now. Actually got a decent spot this time. We're pretty close to the station. Not all the way in the back or something. Now there's something about this bus terminal. It's great that this, this bus terminal has so many buses and it goes out every like hour or so, so my next bus is in like 30 minutes. You guys have probably seen this bus terminal multiple times. I'm always here for my travel stuff. I can't store my car at the airport. That would cost way too much money. You can store it here for like, I think over a week and it doesn't cost anything. And that's the most convenient part, honestly, that I don't have to worry about my car and I could come here by myself and not bother any friends. And we wait 30 minutes. These are nice buses, don't get me wrong. It's just that one hour. One hour, I got one hour on this bus. It provides free water at the front. And I think there's Wi-Fi on the board, but I usually just spend that one hour sleeping. It's early in the morning, what can you do? Thank you very much. So you can post your photo. You must be on IG, right? You must be on Instagram. Right? Instagram, yes. So you tell them how nice time you had in Air Canada. Sure, the yeah. Team I can get here. your photo. As you can probably guess, I'm going to Canada. I'm actually going to Toronto. But before I talk about my flight, look at this. I've been waiting to get the new holiday drinks. This is a chestnut praline. I wasn't really feeling like that much of sugar today, so I only got a tall. I've never been in this terminal. I've only flown domestic most of the time. But this area is kind of small, so um, check-in like is right around that corner, and I'm not checking in until 11:30 or 12 o'clock. Right now it's 10. So the person TSA over there kind of told me to come to this area, which is like apparently rocking chairs. Um, you see, probably over there. But I decided to take the most like extra pretty looking one. It's it's the only non-white one. I stood at the TSA line for like a few minutes just talking about the drone. Really nice people here, honestly. So I'm pretty excited because I have to fly Air Canada for my next trip in December. So hopefully it's the same experience. Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you. you. It's too bad of a flight. It's really quick. It's not like one hour. I think it was. I think it's two. It's like two thirty right now. But not like one hour. I didn't fall asleep at all. I'm gonna get myself some food and try to find my Airbnb because I'm just freaking starving. I should probably have stop having this thing around my neck because it looks like an idiot. I could actually just hook it onto the strap right here, but uh, any free hands. Okay, so there's the lock. Last four digits. Uh, and voila. Oh my god, it's like a secret mission in here. Wow, this space is pretty amazing. Quite fancy, and we're on the 20th floor. Whoa. 
It's a really nice view. So right here, this right here is like a little small kind of room and then you can kind of close it up with these like blinds. I'm okay with that whole no window situation. I knew that before I booked. Here's the bathroom. So as you can see, you have sink, toilet, shower, really small and cozy. And this is my favorite part. Here is a nice white room. Now this right here, this, all this, furniture, all this design, all this white, this is, this is goals. I want this kind of setup. Here's a little tiny table setup. Here's piano, but this, look at this. Is this zoomed in? No, it's not zoomed in. Okay. Look at this view, we're on the 20th floor. I know it's kind of loud because we're like right in downtown Toronto, but we step out here and look at this gorgeous view. I hope I don't like fall, but we're on 20th floor. Right behind me is the CN Tower, right over there. And we're literally in the heart of Toronto. I think down there is the financial district. Right there is the water, I think, right? Yeah. Really nice area, it's beautiful. I know they're doing construction down there, but yeah, look at this view. I just can't get enough of it. It's beautiful, it's amazing. Okay, so that's the Airbnb. Okay, ooh, ooh this couch is comfy. And this, this pillow is really nice, nice and fuzzy. But anyways, yeah, let me talk about why I'm in Canada once again. So right now, I'm in Toronto. Last time I went to Canada, I was in Montreal with a couple of friends. You've probably seen that vlog. If you haven't, go check it out. This is the first time I've ever traveled to another country by myself, actually. I've traveled a bunch of other times by myself. But yeah, I, I got kind of got forced to come here. Here's why. Look at this. So we have Yuruma, which is a famous pianist and he's playing here in North America. So when these tickets were first announced, my sister found them, but she's in school right now. So she decided, this was in, I think, September, so it was two months ago. And she was like, yo, you've got to go see him here. I already bought you the tickets. She bought me VIP tickets, and I kind of was forced to come to Toronto because, I mean, what am I going to do, not not go? I mean, I love his music. Like, you guys probably heard of his Kiss the Rain, River Flows in You. Those are really, one, like, his top two. Probably most famous ones that everyone knows. But that's the number one reason why I'm here. I, I had no other reason to come to Toronto. So the performance is tomorrow, and I didn't want to come and go, and, and I only stayed here for one day, so I kind of took some time off, and I have four days here. So right now, it's around 4.30. Sunset's at 4.50. Like, I'm, I, I love... The nighttime but honestly I would like a little bit more sunlight because it doesn't give me that much time to work I'm charging batteries right now my camera I'm only working with one battery because my sister has the other one like sadly so I need to buy more batteries before I travel again first day I kind of just don't have any real plans I just walk around the city to get a feel for it I downloaded the maps before I got here because I don't have data in this country but yeah hope that kind of explains why I'm in Toronto and I'm excited for the next few days so I just had some Greek food and honestly it was it's not even worth rating mainly because like it was pretty disgusting. I took two bites and then I just kind of gagged and I threw the rest out. But right here I'm just like walking around and I ended up on this side which is really close to where I'm staying and we're right by the water so I think water's like right here. So I think in the morning I'm gonna I'm gonna come here and then just try to fly the drone and get some shots because right now as you can see it's already getting dark. There's no point of flying because that'll be too dangerous. I'm gonna try to find more food because I'm hungry and that was a very unsatisfying meal, honestly. It's nice. Toronto is a, is a more city-like place than Montreal, it seems. Or at least where, you know, compared to where I stayed to right now. Because obviously you can see the skyscrapers. Yeah, so I'm still walking around. It's not that cold, thankfully. And I, I realized I, this jacket, um, this is the jacket I've been, always been wearing. But it's very similar to uh, Big Man Shaq's jacket, you know? You know, the guy that goes like the tingle That guy. But I do really want to wake up early tomorrow so I can get some shots or like some aerial shots and not bother people because obviously we're in a city and you can't really fly drones without one person noticing at least. So I found this place called Water Park Place. Yeah. Ironic, right? There's got to be some food here. This, it seems like a mall sort of kind of deal. So there has to be a food court, right? I think I see one. Okay, that wasn't a completely disgrace of a meal. If I had to rate it, it'd be like a scoop of rice. It's just American Chinese food. And I think I get the gist of this area now. I mean, seems like just an entire city loop 
of shops and buildings and condos and stuff. So I'm gonna head back now. It's around 6 p.m. Okay, so the plan for the rest of the day is to obviously get some rest so I can wake up early. I know there's a kitchen light. There we go, that's a lot better. See, oh, this is honestly goals. If I can live in a place where I have this sort of like city view. Oh man, that's beautiful. Wow, and it lights up at night. Yeah, this is where I'm going tomorrow. Uh, it is the Sony Sony Center for Performing Arts. It's about five minutes away, seven minutes by walk. But honestly, like this is literally where I am. So this is old Toronto, I guess this, and then this would be like downtown. I'm, I'm not 100% sure I don't live here. Okay, quick side note, cause I'm actually pretty stoked for this. Paramore is dropping a new music video tomorrow for Fake Happy and oh my gosh, she has glitter for tears. I'm, I was sick, or I am still sick, and I'm just trying to recover from it. I'm being lazy. I didn't really have a plan, because I'm trying to be like very laid back with this. I'm only here mainly for the performance. But yeah, I look forward to the performance tomorrow, and I hope you guys do too. I really hope that maybe I can get some footage, but I'm, I'm just gonna try to enjoy my time here. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, hey, go. Oh. As always, take my words with a grain of rice. That's literally Bye. it. <laughs> Bye! This was the place I initially went to. It was, uh, it was really bad. It was just, it just made me want to gag and throw up. And it's not good when you're sick. See another sushi place. Uh, Subway.